So the post game doesn't get a lot of love in NBA 2K23 and it's quite understandable. Some people just don't like the contact and the amount of contests that you can get when you're operating inside the paint. But I'm here to show you a few simple combos that will have you operating in the paint like a king, the dream, a large one in NBA 2K23. So these are going to be simple post moves that I find to be really effective going up against people online. And we're going to start with a post drive cancel combo directly into a fadeaway. So while holding L2 and R2, you want to tap the right stick to the left or to the right towards the basket and then immediately combo into a post chimney fadeaway or a simple post fadeaway by holding square. Now if you want to execute the dream shake, this is done by tapping the right stick to the right and then to the left or to the left and then holding it to the right in order to combo into that post shimmy fadeaway. So this move works really well because the post drive which is done by tapping the right stick towards the basket will force your defender to commit moving backwards and then you counter with a simple fadeaway to create that extra bit of space that you will need. And if you're playing my team and going up against some of these gigantic centers and power forwards, this is exactly the type of move that you will need in order to create that extra bit of space to get an open shot. Now once you hit a few of these consistently, you want to combo this into your up and under counters. So instead of holding square to release the jump shot, tap square to initiate a pump fake and then hold the right stick in any direction in which you want to counter into your up and under layup or up and under fadeaway. Just take a look at this sweet setup right here. We combo into that dream shake, shimmy fadeaway, pump fake, escape with that reverse pivot up and under, just give an extra fake just in case someone's there to provide some help defense. And this is the power of setting your defender up with multiple pump fakes, multiple drive fakes, and getting the commitment by hitting a few of these shimmy fadeaways. And as an important point, you want to be familiar with how to use your up and unders and which angle you want to launch your counter attack because these are going to be important because so many people just jump at the first instance of a pump fake or you can use the rim to protect yourself from any ongoing shot blockers. This is a simple move but one of my favorites especially if you get that Akeem Olajuwon signature pump fake into an up and under. Okay, next is another favorite of mine which is the post spin drop step. So execute a post spin drive by rotating the right stick clockwise or counterclockwise and then immediately holding the left stick up left or upright towards the same direction. After your post spin drive, you then want to hold the left stick upright or up left to the opposite direction of your spin. This is such a great way to replicate Akeem Olajuwon's signature moves just because it gives you a nice quick spin counter which you can trap your defenders off that drop step and launch into a dunk. Now, if they follow you through that initial position, you want to counter with a spin layup and then an upper under if you're feeling fancy. So after that post spin drop step, double tap square in order to execute a spin layup and then just want to hold square if you want to continue into a shot or use your up and unders after a pump fake. Just take a look at how devastating this move is, forcing Giannis out of bounds as he has to cut us off after that initial post spin drop step and then from there we just hit him with an up and under. Next you got a wide range of post spin exits which is done by holding L2, rotating the right stick clockwise or counterclockwise and then holding the left stick in any direction. So if you want to execute a post spin hezi, after rotating the right stick clockwise release L2 and hold the left stick to the left. Holding the left stick in different directions will give you different post spin snatch backs, post spin step backs, and then after this you can combo into your different step back jumpers, attack crossovers, or any type of shot creation move that will carry your momentum towards the basket. So here after executing a post spin behind the back dribble exit, look at how I force Tony Kukoc to try to cut me off towards the rim and then I use that separation and create an added bit of separation by comboing into a step back jumper. So you want to play around with the left stick after executing your different post spin exits to try and see what kind of combos you can come up with. For face up bigs, I like to combo this with my post spin hesitation dribble fake them out and then launch it to a crossover and get to the basket. 
So last, in a post-up position, you want to tap the left stick to the left, to the right, up or down to create your different post pivot moves. And then from there, just combo with your step back jumper to create that extra bit of space. Just take a look at how we face up here, force Jatum, Jason Tatum to close out middle thinking we're going to drive, but instead we counter with a step back jumper. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The game does not have to be stretch bigs and five out offenses. You can still dominate in the paint in NBA 2K23. These are some of my favorite simple and easy to use combos and I hope this helped you in getting to cook online with your favorite post moves.